Hey y'all, today I am pulling the pilot bearing out of this Ford 400 motor so that I can replace it before I put on my flywheel and my new clutch kit. Uh, so there's just a couple tools you need and it should come out pretty easily with the right tools. One is this uh, pilot bearing puller tool so it spreads open when you twist it. So this fits right inside there. Usually got to close it all the way. It should get in there. There we go. And now I'm gonna I'm just gonna thread this until it opens up and tightens down on that. And again, I'm trying to do this while I'm holding the camera. There we go. Okay, now you can see how it's uh, spread open on there. Got a tight fit. And what's gonna happen is the bearing is probably gonna come out first, and then this bushing has some notches on it. It might all come out together, but um, one way or another we'll get it out. And then we got this slide hammer here, just a rod, the slide. Both of these tools uh, you can rent from O'Reilly's, basically just pay for them, and then if once you're done, they'll refund you the money, which is pretty cool. I'm sure there's other auto parts store that do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and thread my slide hammer on here. Okay, well now it's locked on. So go ahead and pull that. And usually I want to keep that tension. Uh, with my other hand. I'm holding the camera right now, so it's making it a little harder, but. And there you go, you can see the bearings starting to come out of there. And there you have it. So there is the bearing on the end of that. And uh, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put this back in there. I'm gonna feel there, there's a groove here and there's a groove there. So it should be just enough to get those teeth in the two sides. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and then I'll, I'll show you. Okay, now this is easiest to do without the slide hammer on there. So you can really get in there and kind of feel where that's gonna hook and then you can tighten it down. And then I'm gonna use that C wrench just to tighten it down a little further because there's just enough to catch that lip. So I'll go ahead and get that on there. Okay, so that's just catching the lip on both sides of that bushing. And I'm just gonna give this a crank to make sure I got a good seating on there. And then slide hammer. Thread that in. And you want to get as much thread to catch as possible. There we go. Nice and tight. Whoops. And now you can definitely see those notches I was talking about, and that's where those catch. But um, that's it. You really need the right tools for this one. It's going to save you so much work, and it's so easy, and you can return it when you're done. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions.